Good morning. We are back with a, another video on the D10. Today, we're pulling final drives, steering clutches, and hopefully track frames off what's left of this D10 in the shop. Anyway, here's the engine out of that tractor. We built the stand for it. We're gonna go ahead, get it all blocked off, get that thing all cleaned up and put in the stock. In the meantime, I'll show you over here. We have two stands. We're gonna lift the tractor up in the middle here, go up with it, put two pieces of oak wood in between those stands and set the tractor back down. Same thing for the front. And right now, Phil is getting this stand right here and it's gonna go underneath the front, right across the frame rails. We need to torch this off the frame. It hangs a little bit lower than the frame rails. So we're gonna take a torch and just lop this off so we can safely lift the whole front of this up evenly. Shouldn't be too bad. Got a little bit of a fire there, no big deal though. Nice. Look at that big old chunk. Yeah, she doesn't need much. Probably a four by four. Yeah, I would say so, because we don't want to lift it like way too high. Yeah. Because once we pull the tracks out from underneath of it, it's gonna be that far off the ground, so. Yeah. Just, just enough to get this thing just barely lifted off the ground will be perfect. Oh yeah, that'll work freaking perfect. So now we just need, let's get the crane. Let's see if the crane's got the balls to at least lift up just, just enough to get it in there. So we might be able to lift it. It, it. it has a safety in it, it'll kick off before we do something dumb. We're doing the wrong thing the right way. I mean, well, just go up, we'll just go nice. up slow. Let's just see what happens. Okay, can we find a wood block that'll go right there? Is that a thing? I think we almost had it when it was... Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think we were... Nope, that's it right uh, there. It sucks because there's really nothing to jack up to it. Right. So we have that belly pan we can jack up against. Mm -hmm. Or we can get another piece of wood right here that's just enough to fit in between that. All right. Round two. Right. Will it go in there right now? No, no, perfect. Love it. Where's the remote? Right here on the ground. Nice, where it should be. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Okay, that's, she kicked out. Oh, Feller, watch your fingers. Yeah. Okay. I was just going for the hot spot. Okay. Uh, push, push, push. push yes, yeah, so we need to push it in a little bit more. Let's try that, go down. Nice. That'll work. No, it's perfect. This is ex this is exactly where we want it. Look at the front roller. See how it's off the ground right there? Okay. That's perfect. We, we just need it enough to where we can grab the crane, grab what the crane does. Bloop, 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 roll the, roll the track to the, tracks. yep. Make sure we got no splitting. Nope, we're looking real good there. Okay, onto the back. Yep, now the back, we'll take the bottle jack and we'll push. Yep, I like that. I like that idea and what we'll do is We'll lift up there to get underneath there, uh -huh. then put two two by fours underneath these, or a two by four to take up that gap. Gap. Right, and so that way if it does anything like that, yeah. we're all good. Yeah, it'll smash the two by four down to that, no problem. Yep. That'll work. Splinter, <sighs> pain, injury. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh. Yes, I'm thinking we get another piece of wood in there yeah. to lift that thing up. Yep. That's gonna be our best option. So now we've got uh, stand right there, stand on this side, and we have our jack right in the middle. Now we're gonna be okay because we have the jack, or the stand up in the front, so we have three points of contact. So once we go in the back, it's not gonna do anything scary. We're just gonna go straight up, get some pieces of wood in between these stands, and we should be all good. Is it really lifting? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, she's good. I just saw the track move. Oh, hold on. 
Oh yeah, we just pushed the threads through it. <laughs> so we need to get it. Not a, on the bolt. Yeah. That's safe. Comforting. Yeah, we need to get another block. There you go, I like that one. Might be time for some new dunnage. Just ain't cheap. What I think we do is we get this thing jacked up and then we lay a board across. Okay. Cause all the pressure is gonna go right here and right there. Yeah. But at least it'll be flat pressure. Oh yeah, she's going, I can see it. We're off now. Yeah. Let's go get a piece of wood, see if we can find one, possibly. That'll fit right there. Oh, yeah. I can see the rollers off the off the track right there, so we should be good enough to find a block. Or even like two little blocks or something. I, I like the one big block the best. Okay, so here's our setup right here, guys. Stand here, stand here. Here's the frame of the tractor. So we have it laying all the pressures on both those ends, and we have this as a third safety just to hold this thing up just in case. So I'm very confident this is not gonna go anywhere. I've done it many times before like this with no issues. So this is the way we're gonna do it. Next thing, since we have the tractor officially lifted up off the ground, you can see this roller is separate from the track. We're gonna go ahead, take the crane and a hook, and we're gonna slowly roll these tracks until we can get to the master link, and we're gonna break the track right about here. Master link here. It's like a gate. Yep. There it is. Where did you find it? Okay, so let's attempt to lift it right here and roll it back this way, just to see. Because if not, we're going to have to go all the way around until we can get to it. Right. Let's just see if we get lucky. Okay. Let's just see if it rolls. Hopefully we get lucky. Just come straight up with it. Going. Yep. It's rolling. Here's our master link right here. It needs to go right there. Once you notice it's starting to flip the tractor, then we'll just reset. Grab another chunk. Yeah, all right. This is gonna take a little bit. We'll be back when we get that master link down there by that idler. All right, here's our master link. We're gonna stop right about here. Perfect, now we need the one inch gun and whatever size socket that is. And we'll zip that off. Here's where we make the choice. Do we pull from the top and go down, or do we pull from the bottom? bottom. Either way, she's gonna go flying, right? Because if we pull from the bottom, this, once it carries, is gonna catch speed and go whoop, that direction, right? Oh. Or you pull from the top, and then it catches speed and goes up into the fender. Either way works. <laughs> you gotta kinda just stay away. <laughs> Let her go. Well, let's go from the bottom, take the crane, crane to here. The crane will hold the track back from going crazy. Right? We'll, we'll hook it here somewhere, somewhere where, we, where we'll pull, and we'll basically use the crane to go this way, and we'll pull with the fork at the same time. Okay, so here's where we're at. Land cruiser. Chain. The chain has been hooked up to the track. We wrapped it underneath here. So we'll just go nice and slow, make this chain tight, and just pull that track right underneath the door. I'd lift the door if I could, but the door is jacked up. Unfortunately, that happened yesterday. But we're gonna go ahead, hook this thing up, and just start pulling. Okay, no rain. Roll out if you want to do this. 
Did this stay away from it? Right. you remove a track from a V10 with a Toyota. All right, well, that was track one. Now we gotta do the same thing for the other side, and then we're pulling final drives. Heck yeah. Okay, where that hammer is right here is our other master link. So we're just gonna do the same thing we did on the other side and just start picking and rolling nice and slow, except we were kind of reversed, right? Because we were picking on that side before. Now we're just picking on this side. That's probably good. Leave it right there, and uh, we'll get the one inch. We'll just leave the last bolt here. Okay, we'll stay out of the way for the last one. Done deal. Now we'll pull it out. Do the same thing we did on the other side. <laughs> Done. All right, fire the yoda up again. Get her moved. Oh, my EGT gauge isn't working. the tracks all the way off this thing now we got to get the final drives off so there's i think there's 30 something bolts right here i'm gonna attempt to get a uh like a three-quarter air gun in here or something to try and bust these all loose we'll see how that works i haven't had very good luck with that we'll probably end up using a big breaker bar breaking every single one of these loose and then using a half inch gun or something to zip them all the way out we're gonna go get these broke loose and then we'll move a forklift in and the crane in and I'll show you how we pull these things out. Oh, it's a 38 right on the money, huh? Right on the money. Is that a three quarter drive or a hat? It's a three quarter, baby. Okay. That green, that old greeny might go in there. It will, I know it will because I put a set on in the field and we used a three quarter just to zip the bolts in it. Oh yeah. Dun dun dun. <laughs> All right. So that, that's a Cornwall gun. I'm pretty sure it's just like a rebranded IR. But the greatest part about the Cornwall one is when it blows up, because I've blown it up like three times, they fix it every single time. And this, then it's no hassle. It's like, it's free and it's like, here's your loaner gun. Always just a little sneeze. 
dims the light. Yep. Cause it sucks the moisture out, right? Yep. Okay, just let's just find out. Left is loose. Oh. oh so you yeah. can take it out though? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's gonna save us a ton of time. Let's just leave two in. Two are fine. Two is more than like right here and there. Yeah. Yep. Two is more than enough to get that done. Well that is gonna save us a ton of time. We'll go ahead, take that thing, rip all those out, and we'll leave the two in and we'll see you guys when we get that done. Now let's go get the forklift, swing it in here, and we'll rig this thing up and I'll show you guys how we get these out of here. Alright. Just get up in there and go about halfway with your forks. And we'll put a fork here and a fork on the other side. Just whichever prong you can get into, or whichever sprocket segment you can get into. Remember, it's gonna roll for you too. About there, you think? Suck your forks in a little bit. Okay, come on in. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm gonna have you go down and get these forks level because they're kind of tilted forward a little bit. Yep. Yeah, just like that, bud. Now come up. A tiny bit more. Okay, right there. Now, we're gonna zip one of these bolts out, put a pick and eye in it, wrap a chain right here and tilt back so it levels it out. And then we'll zip those two other two bolts out and just drive out with it. Perfect. Uh, let's just uh, tilt back a bit and I'll zip the other two bolts out of it. That's good, probably good, because I'll, I'll zip it out. We'll feel the weight when it starts zipping out. We missed the piece that holds the steering clutch in. This holds the steering clutch. There's one up top there too, yeah. and there's one on that okay. side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a three quarter, zip those out. Then this thing will come right out. Right. See, if we were separating just the final drive from and leaving the steering clutch in, it would come out. But there's a couple little small bolts that we're not gonna mess with. Because we're gonna pull them all out as one big unit. All right, you ready to rock? Yes, sir. Got one bolt left. One bolt. And it's definitely moving. It's Is it? Stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. That direction. Alright. Take this out. You're golden. Keep doing the thing. Now, just be careful. Just uh, try, try and pick up a little bit. You got it. Yeah, you're out, you're already out. Okay. Then once you clear, just go down super, super slow. Yep. Just tell me when Keep I going. go down. Keep going. All right, you can start coming down super slow. Sweet, dude. There you go. Final okay. drive and we're steering down. clutch out. Okay, so we're on the other side now. We're just gonna do the exact same thing we did on that side. Well, there you guys have it. We have two final drives removed, tracks pulled. We'll do the, we will do the track frames in another video. We're gonna do that right after this. Anyway guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section. And if you wanna see a lot more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.